Hi Navigator friends, Mrs. Harris here. Today's I Can statement is, I can create a school community art project based on the style of the artist Thank You X. Brian Wilson is Thank You X, and how he got the name was he created a stencil of Andy Warhol. And he signed the painting Thank You, and then he put an X. The X was his signature. But the Thank You was Thank You Andy Warhol for your amazing artwork done in the pop art style. We're all familiar with Andy Warhol's Campbell soup cans. Thank You X continued the pop art style within his own artwork. He had to use the alias because he couldn't put his real name. It's against the law to deface buildings. Thank You X was posting his images on Instagram, another social media platform. Snapchat got wind of this and they loved it. So they commissioned him. That means they paid him to come in and paint a mural within their building. He began to do these cube styled images. We're also going to do a large cube mural for our school. It's going to be a mini self-portrait about you. Here's our Thank You X cube that I've printed off from the PDF that I have attached to the lesson. In cube one, the space here, we're going to leave it blank. We're going to add a color piece of construction paper. Kids at home, you guys can add color with marker or crayon, a solid color. Cube two, we're gonna put something in there that represents us. Maybe we're gonna have a picture of our favorite book, or maybe we'll draw a character from our favorite movie, our favorite food, a sport, an animal, a hobby, an activity, whatever we wanna put in there. It's gonna have a pattern background behind it. And in cube three, we are going to add a pattern of a shape. So maybe I'll do a heart and repeat it with some kind of a background in it. I'm gonna go ahead and draw those things and then I'm gonna come right back. All right, I've created mine. I drew a picture of a camera because that's my hobby. I love to take photos. This is a piece of film, old fashioned film. Define that better when I add color. Over here, I created a pattern of hearts. I put three little dots on them. And I also created a pattern in the background here. You can either just have shapes with a solid background with no pattern, or you can have a pattern. The choice is yours. There's always lots of choices in art class. We're going to add color to this. I find the best thing to add color with is the colored pencil for this project because you want your colors to be rich and solid. And the other thing is you can mix them. So if I decide, you know, I've got this beautiful pink, but if I wanted to make it a little bit more oh, purpley color, I could always go on top of it with a little bit of blue and kind of change it up. I could do a pattern of color now. I could do, uh, a pink and then a purple color going in between. So, and I just really like the way that colored pencils blend together. So again, this is gonna be a nice fun one. This artist, Thank You X, is just really neat. I'm really excited for you guys to do this. You guys will be creating two blocks. You're gonna leave one behind so I can hang it up here at school and I'm gonna leave it up over the summer and when we come back in the fall, we'll have some artwork in our hallways. So I am excited to see what you guys give me.